Welcome to our Science Whisperer channel where we share bite-sized videos on science and sustainability concepts. People today replace their electronic devices more frequently than ever before. This has led to an increase in electronic waste, or e-waste. E-waste is the category of waste and discarded electronics and appliances. It includes everything from old cell phones to TVs and computer monitors. Many people don't realize that electronics can contain harmful chemicals. These chemicals can harm the environment and public health if not disposed of correctly. Unfortunately, e-waste is often exported to developing countries. This can lead to health problems and environmental degradation in those countries. In some cases, e-waste is burned, which releases toxic pollutants into the air. It's important to dispose of e-waste properly. Many communities have e-waste recycling programs. These programs help to ensure that toxic chemicals are not released into the environment. Many electronics manufacturers now offer take-back programs. These programs allow you to return your old electronics to the manufacturer or retailer. The manufacturer will then ensure that the materials are recycled or disposed of properly. When disposing of e-waste, it's important to wipe your personal data first. You don't want your personal information falling into the wrong hands. There are also companies that specialize in e-waste recycling. These companies can help you dispose of your electronics in an environmentally responsible way. Some companies even refurbish old electronics and donate them to those in need. It's estimated that less than a quarter of e-waste is currently being recycled. Recycling e-waste can help to conserve resources and reduce pollution. It can also help to create jobs in the recycling industry. Don't forget to properly dispose of your batteries. Batteries can also contain toxic chemicals. Many communities have battery recycling programs as well. Remember, you have a responsibility to properly dispose of your e-waste. By doing so, you can help protect the environment and public health. Thanks for viewing this video and don't forget to subscribe for future updates.